Okay, it's a lovely new morning. So we've got the subframe back in the car. That all looks jolly. What we do have to do now though, is we need to sort these rear brakes that I screwed up. The thing about these rear brakes is that I was feeling really good about this uh, right up until this morning. I now have my flare nut spanners. And so I thought I'm just gonna come in here, whack them off, jobs are good. Un. However, just watched a guy do this exact job that I'm about to do and he had a complete and utter nightmare. Right, so actually what I just gave the bolt a really good clean uh, with a wire brush and I've also soaked it again in penetrant and now you can get an 11 mil on it. It's not as tight as I'd want it to be, <laughs> ideally just a bit tighter but I suppose that's okay. Just please don't round, for the love of God, please do not round. Okay, here goes. No, 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 that started to round straight away. Oh, for God's sake. No, 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 no. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, shh. Okay. Okay. Come on. I don't know what to do. So you can see the corners there just starting to glisten. I even tried to give it a, like, a quick jab. Someone recommended that in the comments when trying to get these off, but that didn't work either. Damn it. Okay, so that is now rounded a little bit. There's nothing I can do about it. There's, there's, there's no easy way to get that off. So I'm gonna try and change tack a little bit because I just can't, I can't afford to completely screw this up and, and have to worry about cutting that off or anything. So I'm just gonna leave that for a minute. What I am gonna do is come back to the very first bolt that I rounded that set all this off to so the actual brake line as it comes into the caliper. So I rounded one side of the nut and now I'm wondering if with my new banners, I might actually be able to now get it off and then simply reuse the hose again and plug it back into the new caliper. I know that's not ideal, but with the facilities that I have, it might be the best thing to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Undo. Undo. No, 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 no. Didn't work at all. No, it's way too rounded on that side. And I'm just looking at this brake line and there's a massive gash in that line anyway. So that line needs to be replaced. This is turning into a complete nightmare. Okay, so I've been trying to work out another way around this. And I think what I might try next is if I was to put a pair of mole grips on this bolt, on the edges where it hasn't rounded, put those mold grips on real tight and then actually try to turn this side rather than that side. Maybe that might be enough. No, it's all moving as a one. No, 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 it's still not any good. That's fully rounded now. Oh, ba, ba, ba. must remain stoic. Uh, I don't know. I've now ruined all of the nuts regarding the braking system on the right rear of the car. Oh dear. I've had half hour or so to think about this now. Here's what I think I'm gonna have to do. I can't see any way around it. I'm gonna cut this hose and then I'm gonna use a pair of bolt extractors to take this nut off. Because the game plan here is to save, to save this bracket. At all costs, this bracket must be saved because that's the part where 
I literally can't do without. But obviously once I've cut this off, I now need all new solid brake pipe. Just basically, I'm gonna replace this whole hose. I'm gonna sacrifice this hose to be able to take this brake line off. That's how I'm, I'm approaching solving this problem. It's intensely annoying. It's intensely annoying, but it also now means that I get to refit, you know, the brake pipe for the whole right rear. You know, I'm just adding more strings to my bow at this point. I mean, I realize I'm making more work for myself. We have to just move on. We have to just keep going. Right, so I've now come to a complete stop on the job. I can't do anything really now until the brakes are back on. I can't take the wheel carrier off. I can't start the engine because I need the brakes to lock the engine so I can do the, the crank pulley up. Everything really now is just depending on these brakes. So what I have been able to do is I have just purchased a brand new brake pipe from BMW. Uh, that's not going to be ready until the morning. The trouble is I don't think the brake pipe comes ready bent. So I now need a pipe bender to be able to bend this pipe. And I can get one today, but it means I have to travel, pop to a Halfords, which is about 10 miles away from where I live. Right, so we're in for all sorts of weather today, lads. It's supposed to torrentially rain. I don't have a garage, as you all know, but I do have this wonderful gazebo. And as you can see, I've just basically put the gazebo over the top of the car. It covers the back. I've been to BMW and I've picked up the brake line. Now, the really good thing about this is that both of the ends are flared already and they have the unions on them. That's the good news. The bad news is very much that this is an unbent piece of brake line. So if I was to say I'm a little bit apprehensive about this, I'd be lying. I'm terrified about doing this job. These are the brake pipe benders that I managed to get yesterday at short notice. These are just a laser item. I'm guessing that all you do with these is you're going to stick it in there, aren't you, like that? Like this somehow like that okay like that so this just hooks on there like that and then there's a little mark on there for 45 degrees and for 90 degrees and then i'm just going to close these handles and it's going to bend the pipe so i am a little bit apprehensive and obviously this looks like the sort of pipe where bend it once and you're done and i think this is probably the point in the video where a load of you go why is he doing that all he needs to do is xyz well i need to get a video out tomorrow so you know i'm doing this before i can get anybody's advice so you know it's all learning it's all learning i'll know for next time if this isn't the right way to do it i've had to put one of the sides up it's raining there's no space <laughs> i can hardly move so i'm just going to cut this i've got my absolutely ginormous hacksaw and i'm gonna have to go from underneath and i think i'm just going to start sawing really this is just this is ridiculous really this whole endeavor <laughs> Uh, where do I cut? There, there. I've got my tray. So I cut it as close to that nut as possible, just so I can get my bolt removers on there. No going back now. So now I'm squeezing the car. I've put some wheels under here just for a little bit of extra safety. So now really all I'm doing is like, basically tracing the brake pipe now and also try not to forget the root. It's kind of clipped in all around here so it goes round here right over to the passenger side of the car under the exhaust round here all the way up there and then bolts and then kind of connects in up there. I think I'm just going to peel it off. I mean I'm looking at it now there's quite a few bends which are filling me with dread. You know there's I mean this bit here look it goes down here there's a bend 90 there, a 90 there, and then it 90 the other way up there, and then up around the exhaust, you probably can't see that. Oh, oh what have I got myself into? I hope you guys are um, enjoying this, by the way. Do us a favor, look at me, I'm on my back in the rain, in the wet. S hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I've got loads of work I could be doing inside for my actual day job right now. I'm doing this for you. So, how does this come off then? Does it pull out? 
I think it just pulls out, does it? Oh, so in my eye. Oh, for God's sake. So I've got to pull it out without bending it in the slightest because I need to know how to bend the new one back into the same shape. I've got to use this as a template. So I can't just start like yanking on it and go a bit mental. What about it up here? Oh. And if any of you guys are watching this and you work in a garage and you've got a lift, I never want to hear you moan <laughs> about conditions at work. <laughs> Ugh. No. Okay, we made it to the front of the car. <laughs> um, so now I've just got to unscrew that. And then I'm hoping that just comes out. But, I mean, I'm looking at this now and I'm just wondering to myself, how the hell am I going to get the new one in? Because I'm not even sure how I'm going to get this old one out. We're getting rained on. I've got my flare nut spanner. So... Let's just get in there and crank it. So you're not going to believe this. All of these bolts are just for the brake pipes on these minis are made of butter. Because guess what? That one over there is starting to round. No matter how you approach it, I've sprayed it with penetrant, left it for ages, come in with my new flare nut spanner. I mean, if it's this spanner, this is a Teng spanner, if it's this, avoid these like the plague i'm getting absolutely soaked look i'm having a fairly miserable time here this isn't working all of these nuts are rounding this is turning into a nightmare it's done boys it's rounded i don't know what to say really i'm gonna have to cut this one out as well then i suppose I'll tell you what, I'm about to give up with it. I'm feeling pretty disheartened right now, I'll be honest with you. Right, so I have just cheered myself up a little bit by doing a little bit of Googling and coming across hundreds of posts of people on all makes and models of cars rounding brake nut lines because they basically just get seized and you pull on them hard and they've been weather abused and you know this that and the other so I don't feel too bad so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off at the other end now as well so I'll have cut it off at both ends I'm just going to have to get the bolt extractors on both ends and get that union out hopefully that works and I don't mess up anything else but I think the priority now if I don't take off with this gazebo that is you're not going to believe this well, I mean, you probably are going to believe it because you've seen how car fate tends to treat me. But I was just uh, standing here, just having a bit of a breather, and I noticed that I've still got one of the pads in the caliper. Uh, so I thought oh, I'll just pull that out really quickly and put it in uh, with the other pad that I've got in the boot, just so I keep them together. I don't, I don't really know why I thought this. And uh, I went to pull the pad out. You know, the pad on the inner is clipped in to the piston, isn't it? So I just went to pull it out. <laughs> I just went to pull it out and the whole piston just came out of the caliper. Look at that and now what's happened is, is that this rubber is split and it started leaking brake fluid. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that look so I, I just pulled on the pad <laughs> to take it out and that whole piston just flew out. What on earth has happened to the brakes on this Mini? I just, I don't understand it. I've never known anything like it. The brakes on this Mini are shot. Oh no. Okay, so that's now cut off. So really, oh my ass is wet. So really, I've got to just now find a way to pull this line out all the way down the car. <laughs> How does that, oh, what? Okay, hang on. Oh, my leg's wet. <laughs> I don't want to say it out loud, but this would be much easier to do if the subframe wasn't on <laughs> at the front. Oh, 
but this is the hard bit now. Like genuinely, how do I get this out? Get out of there. Get out. Right, I don't know how you're supposed to get this brake line out. It goes right up there behind a cable or a hose there. Comes all the way, turns 90 degrees, comes down here. Oh, oh I'm laying in a puddle. Oh, right, comes down here, runs down there. All these different bends. There's absolutely no way you can get it out without like taking the handbrake cables out the fuel lines out the fuel tank by the looks of it like how do you how are you supposed to do this look at this look my brand new jacket oh anyway, look, i'm going to stop moaning about the water um so i could really do with your help actually so especially if you've worked on these minis before and i know that a few of you in the comments uh, know a lot about these particular minis. What is the best way of putting the new brake pipe in? Because it looks like a labyrinth trying to get the old one out without taking off all of the components under the car. Like I said, the, you know, like the fuel tank and fuel lines and stuff like that. Do you bend the new pipe on the car or is there just some kind of magic trick to getting this old pipe out, bending the new one, using it as a template, and then somehow threading it all back in? Because the way I'm looking at it, I can't quite work it out. Like, it kind of makes more sense to just take everything apart, but obviously I don't want to take handbrake cables off or fuel lines out or fuel tanks or the subframe or anything like that. I just kind of want to thread this new line back through. So if there is a if there is a way because I couldn't really find anything online, um, please write in the comments. So it's been a bit of a disastrous day really. So it now looks like I need to fix that front passenger side caliper. The brake pipes are all dead. Yeah, it's not been a good one, has it? I'm kind of at my wit's end actually, and I'm, I'm a bit I'm a little bit miserable. Uh, the weather obviously isn't helping, so we're going to end it here, and then I'm going to come back. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit drier tomorrow, and then I can actually have a proper look get under the car see what's what but right now i'm laying in puddles and it's not very fun so see you in the next one